Hi guys, welcome to Bite Size Excel. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how you navigate in your workbook using the keyboard. Now, for some basic navigation, uh, when you select a cell, you can move around your worksheet simply using the arrow keys. So, right, down, up, and left. Relatively straightforward. However, there's a slight difference if you are actually being on a cell or being in a cell. So if you're going into the cell, and there's two ways you can do this, you can either, well, three ways actually, you can either click in the formula bar up here, you can double click within the cell itself, or the third way is to press F2 and it goes straight into the cell, which can actually make it a lot quicker and easier when you're working with formulas to quickly go in and edit your formula. So when you are in a cell, obviously using the arrow keys will move your cursor within the cell itself, not around to different cells. So in order to navigate from here, there are a number of buttons. If you wish to move down a cell, simply press enter. And if we go into this cell, if you want to move right a cell, we hit tab. So going in again, if you want to go back up a cell, you hold shift and enter. And equally to go to the left, it's shift and tab. You don't actually have to be in the cell to do these shortcuts. And finally, if you just want to, if you're in a cell and you just want to come out with actually moving around the workbook, you simply hit escape to come out. A couple of other useful shortcuts to know. Um, if you want to go to the very last item you've entered in either your row or your column, you will hold down control and the arrow key. So if we press control right, you go to the very last filled in value in your columns and control and down brings you down to the last row where you've got data filled in. Equally, you can go left and up and it just navigates you around the table and data that, it, that you're in. However, it's worth noting that if there is a gap in the data for any reason, if we hold control and right, you'll only go to the last filled in cell. Another useful thing to know is holding down the shift key. So if we hold down the shift key and hit right, you will start selecting adjacent cells, one with each click of the right button. And equally, if you hold shift and press down, you'll select the cells below. Combining those two shortcuts, you can hold down Control, Shift and Down will select all your rows and Control, Shift and Right will then select all your columns. So it's a quick way to select all your data or say you want to format something very quickly. So for example, if I were to click on this unit price here and I want to format them all as, um, as pounds. So I would hold Control, Shift and Down and then Another useful shortcut to know, you can obviously format it by going into your formatting at the number here at the top. But a quick keyboard shortcut is to hold down control and press one and will straight away bring up the format cells box. So that's control and one. Click on currency and okay. That's a quick way to format a whole row of data or a whole column. couple of other useful shortcuts. Uh, for example, if you want to move to the last cell you filled in in your current worksheet, you would hold down control and end and it moves you to the last cell where you've actually had data in. Similarly, control and home brings you to the top leftmost cell in your worksheet. In a similar way, if we hold down alt and page down, it moves you one full screen to the right of your worksheet and Alt and Page Up brings you one full screen to the left. It can be useful if you've got big worksheets and you just want to go over one screen at a time. Finally, there are a couple of keyboard shortcuts that allow you to move between worksheets. And these are Control and Page Down to move on a worksheet. So you'll see we've moved from worksheet one to sheet two. Page Down again will bring you to sheet three. And for the reverse, it's control and page up to move back in your worksheets. There are obviously loads of keyboard shortcuts in Excel. This is just an introduction to a few that are useful just to navigate around bigger data sets. I hope you found it useful and please do leave me a comment 
let me know what you might like me to cover in future and do like and subscribe. I will see you on the next video.